HUL has consistently championed the cause of diversity, equity and inclusion across the company. With more than 400 of our 780 R&D scientists being women, we proudly stand as the largest employer of women STEM talent in FMCG across not just India, but South Asia. From societal bias to parochial mindsets, it continues to be an arduous journey for women to enter and succeed in STEM. It's against a sobering backdrop that we are taking the first step to make an impact on the STEM ecosystem in India. To further our commitment to reducing gender disparity in STEM, HUL proudly launched the Women in STEM Fellowship Program in 2023. This fellowship is designed to tap women scholars from leading institutes pursuing their PhDs. One year into the fellowship, we are back to hear from these remarkable women exploring diverse fields in science. Their work spans from microscopic battles to global challenges. My name is Sonali. So I'm studying grasslands and over there we are looking at ungulate grazing, which is a mixed grazing of domestic and wild ungulates. So they graze the ecosystem and we are looking at how the grazing is actually changing the plant community composition in that area. Uh, hi, I'm Amrapali Datta. So my interest in cancer biology started when I was doing my master's in biotechnology and I found out that despite so many labs all over the world, we don't really have a like a foolproof cure for cancer, which it's still affecting so many people. Hi, I am Ananya Sarkar. They are mostly working on how remote sensing product helps to identify the flood drought situation. I'm Tejaswini, I'm a third year PhD student. I'm working on four dimensional printing of scaffolds for peripheral nerve injury. In peripheral nerve regeneration, the conduits are usually suture around the nerve. So you need needle pricking, which creates an extra injury and hampers the nerve regeneration. That's why we are creating a scaffold which can fold by itself and enwrap the nerve. Hi, I'm Rashmi Mohanty. My research topic is uh, zero waste scheme for water remedy. Right now we are focusing on arsenic remediation. This scheme will be implemented in some of the communities where there is arsenic contamination in groundwater. How is it is different from the conventional method is that whatever waste, the arsenic waste that is generated, we are trying to reduce the toxicity before it is disposed somewhere. The research areas of our fellows align with the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals, addressing critical issues such as climate action and sustainability, health and hygiene, and clean water and sanitation. The HUL Fellowship is a gateway to mentorship and access to the global scientific community. It's empowering these researchers to push the boundaries of their research and turn possibilities into reality. HUL has offered us these immense connects that we can you know, exploit and we can meet so many people who have achieved so much. So normally, if you're in a research place, normally people think about research only, no, no one thinks about industry area. So I think we are getting a good exposure of industry also in case you want to join later. We got the opportunity to meet the women scientists there, the global leaders there. This um, interactions with others have helped me to overcome my boundaries or um, has pushed me a little bit. As a person, I am too much introvert, so I can't speak that much well. So when I talk with the people, I got a lot of motivation from them. For all the up-and-coming women in STEM, uh, first, I think it's very important to know, have a clarity on what you want. And once you know that, there are opportunities like fellowship, HL fellowship, and I'm sure there'll be many more in the future. I, I would say that women should work in STEM because for me, my inspiration was my sister and my mother. My mother did her PhD when I was doing my BTEC and my sister completed her PhD from IIC. So that was my, the inspiration for me. So similarly, I hope I will also inspire someone. Because right now I'm in ecology field, I can tell about myself. There's a lot of time where you won't get results. There are a lot of times abiotic factors will affect your results. But because I love it, I am ready to do, redo it. So I think that is the most important part I feel like to join a PhD. HUL's vision is to see more women leading in STEM, driving innovation and solving the world's toughest challenges. Through this fellowship, we are building a future where every woman in STEM thrives. We are studying sustainability. Developing clean water solutions. Understanding forest ecosystem. Fighting cancer. Advancing healthcare. 